Time check, time check, time check. Oh, ah. It's only, it's less than, it's 20 hours. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh my goodness. Right, let's do this. Let's do it. Come on. Let's do right. this. Okay, with um, no more ado, no more messing on. Here we go. Let's just pass you over to the Balloon Art Studio. Over to you, Colin. This is what happens when Phileas is on. These guys have wandered off into the wilderness. Give me a quick blast on the air. Let's give them a little shout out. We might get, get some get echoes, echo, guys. Which, you know, here we, we can't go. help it. Here we go. Over to you, Colin. Our studio. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know what it was? He said he'd come on. It's just a shameless plug. That's all he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Now, now they're going to run over. And oh, pick no, up stuff. we're on air. We're, we're on. We're on telly. You'll take them, them ears back so off, can... otherwise. They're off, they're off, they're off. One second. Excuse me. You just talk oh, amongst yourselves. Oh, Mr. Stewart. Ah, oh. apparently what happened was... I'm going to walk off scene over this way. You're going to talk for a little bit while I sort out another problem. Well. Can you mute my mic, please? Let's take Mr. Seven's microphone off. Let's take that one off. And we'll pop that one on there. What an absolute challenge. So, yes. Once we get this guy back on, on the chat, on the, on the chat we want it to be, call it. Colin, Colin, Colin. That's what we need, okay? He'll be like, yay! As if I was always here. So that's what I need you to do. We can have some thumbs up. We can have some smiley faces. But we want it to be... Colin! <laughs> Who have we actually got on there as well? Because my eyes are just starting to... F oh, no. Billy's here. Billy broke YouTube. Oh. Hashtag <laughs> Billy broke YouTube. We are getting that T-shirt. We will be getting that t-shirt on the merch store. It's an absolute must. <laughs> Who else have we got then? Yes, Qualitex balloons. It was a fun night. Depends on the definition of fun, though. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yes, we've got some Colin. No, you don't shout Colin yet. Oh, I like the megaphone, though. Yes, megaphone emoji. Colin! <laughs> yeah. Uh, my magic trick is keeping the internet alive, Billy, with you around. That's my magic trick. We were sort of trying to get the schedule back on track, which, you know, it's been it's been some magic there. That's the magic. We've got this chap that we desperately want to show. He's got uh, some interesting things that he wants to share. And then let's see what we've got coming up as well. We did have, I did have my list. Let's have a look. Because we've got a couple of videos... Let's have a look. Oh, and our competition's coming up as well. We have our Twister competition coming up in about, ooh, let's say an hour. Oh, we've got some movement. Oh, I see what they were doing. Yes, you're moving, you're moving, you're good. He's alive. Uh, you are live. Are you going to switch? He is live. I can get some audio on when he's ready. Okay, we'll get your audio on now. I'm going to hang up for you. Pardon? They're good. They're on. They're ready to go. No audio. We can hear you. Okay. Well, how would I know I'm supposed to talk? <laughs> this this is what I this is what I love about this because when he gets to watch it back, he's gonna hear that. So everyone in the chat now? go, call it, so he knows you're there. So we you hear, hear you. Yes, we can hear. <laughs> yes, we can hear. Give me an ear channel, Dom. Yes, we go? can hear. <laughs> we can hear. Am I supposed to go now? Yes. Yes, yes oh, that okay. would be good. Come I can in. hear my wife yelling yes. So, uh, Keith, <laughs> are you there still? Yes, I'm still here. Jeannie, I don't hear any sound. You don't need to. It's you don't the need internet. to. <laughs> for, an, for, for, for a man... Of his intelligence. And, and, and okay, and well, they thinking. haven't got off. Are they still there? <laughs> I love this man. 
I do. I genuinely do. I do. I love okay, it. so you are now in our studio, we know and it. I would like to uh, welcome you to our Stewart's Baskets and Balloons, the home of the Balloon Art Studio and the Rely Drop Manufacturing. I'm going to give you a little guide of our showroom, our retail store, and I'll take it through into our, our balloon store. Here we have nothing but balloons and anything that can be tied as a weight or a gift basket. We don't hold any uh, any paper products, any paper plates, nothing like that. We completely have designed everything so it's a balloon store. We started this space with nothing here and we've built the complete shop. We had our son build the whole store and I'm going to take you through a little of what we have in here from our daughter that worked on the team for Vadim for uh, the World Balloon Convention and finished second. We uh, were quite proud of the whole shop. And as you can see, we've taken uh, the theme here with our rainbow and hopefully everything comes uh, sunshine afterwards. After the rain, after the storm, we get the rainbow. We have uh, two work areas, our cameo area and uh, our latex wall, and a little of our work. So uh, I'd like to uh, welcome you in, and uh, I'm going to now take you into our little work area. So we'll go through one of our doors here, our tanks and our ribbon rack. Where we have uh, everything neatly tied and stored, and then a little bit of our uh, our stock. I guess you can see uh, she's pretty full. And uh, as everybody can see, we have uh, just a little bit of latex. And here's our our work area. The Benches are all for Rely Drop and uh, everything we build for our decor. We've got a little play area for our grandkids when they come and visit us. And uh, my wall where everything I've taught and been and done is uh, displayed there. Jeannie's office. And then I'm going to take you into our studio where I'm going to show you uh, our designs that I'm going to go through today. We're going to make this one, depending on time, of course. And uh, it's always about the smile with us. The light drop ready to ship. As soon as everything gets back on track, New Year's Eve is going to be massive this year, we all know. And our little workshop back here, where uh, I know David Mahoney, it's not uh, as big as yours, but uh, it's just where we play. And our frames, everything's in here in our storage area. So, uh, shipping doors. Okay, let's go back in. And uh, there's a view from the back of our shop. All right. So, 
what we're going to do now, I'm going to flip cameras, and uh, hopefully Keith and Dom can, uh, there's Jeannie, all ready to go say hi. There you go. And uh, Keith, if you want to switch us over to the other camera, that would be, uh, that would be awesome. Sure, there. How that works. So, Switched. okay, I think I'm on this camera. Are we all ready to go here? I'm not sure, but I think we're here. Okay. Can Keith give me? Uh, I think we're on this camera now. So I think everything's okay. Okay, thank you very much um, for coming into our uh, shop today. My name's Colin Stewart. My wife and I have had the, uh, the business. We uh, started it 30 years ago, Stewart's Baskets and Balloons, as I said at the front. The, the studio here is the Balloon Art Studio. That's where everything takes place. And Stewart's Baskets and Balloons is the business where we have one side is Reliadrop and one side is our, our studio where we have the Balloon Art Studio. Today what I'm going to do is give you um, a very fundamental building block and after that I'm going to show you how we can make different uh, things from that. So I'm going to go begin with an 18 inch foil. I'd like to say uh, I hope everybody's staying safe. In these times where it's very unprecedented, it's uh, a crazy world out there right now, but it will come back. Everything will go back to uh, the new normal. Uh, let's just hope it's sooner than later. Very crazy out there. So I basically took the air out of two 260s. I tied, uh, tied them together, so uh, I'm going to now wrap them onto the foil. And my class isn't maybe as uh, uh, upbeat, I don't know what else to say. Uh, uh, Phileas is, uh, as everybody knows, an extremely extroverted man and uh, very talented. So uh, it's, a, it's a different kind of uh, second stage for, uh, for this old guy. Uh, to, to uh, follow up after uh, after uh, Phileas. Rupert did a great job. After all the ins and outs and cutouts, and I don't know what else to say. He's uh, uh, one very talented man. Okay, so what I've done here is take it over and I've tied the top here into one and I've, I've taken the uh, two little bits off. So the two 260s are tied around here. Now I use packing tape. Um, I just want to secure this right on the seam, right around. So I'm just going to put a few pieces here. I'm going to start with the bottom and then flip to the top. So I take a little piece of packing tape and cover it so it just stays in place. All right. Now, I've inflated quads very easily. I've pre-inflated just to save some time here. And uh, I'm going to install. I take the two, the necks of the, you can take it up there, there you go. So they take the necks this way, the camera goes, there we go. So I can take the necks and I slip one neck underneath the 260 that's around the foot. And I tie that off to one of the necks. So I basically have tied, so here's what I've taken. I've taken my, the neck of one and slipped it underneath. You can see it underneath here, and then I've tied it to one of the other necks. So I basically tied the quad onto the 260 that's around here. I'm going to continue to tie them underneath and around. And I slide them up. So these guys here are size to three and an eighth. Okay, I'm going to pass the information of the designs today up to the Q corner and they can post it all. So um, 
you'll be able to make this, but I continually, I'm gonna take this. After every two, what I like to do is take a piece of tape and I just lift the, the duplet and I tape underneath so I have it very strong on there. I'm gonna add the next quad, doing the exact same procedure. I take it so it's up and I tie this guy onto that line, just like so. And just so I can reach them a little easier. And timing wise, it's, uh, it's a very easy procedure to, to secure these on. And uh, like I said, after every two, but I've already taped this end here. This was taped at the beginning. So I'm gonna come back up to the other side again. And once again, I'm gonna repeat. The, uh, I'll show you a design that I use on this. We're gonna make it now. And you can see if you don't put the tape on, what happens is the 260 slides. Okay, so we don't want that to happen. We want that to stay there. So after I put the second one on, I'll put another piece of tape and tie the 260 around that. And now I'm going to take another piece of tape here. And once again, lift the duplet and tape on. And that secures the 260 so it's not sliding around. Okay, and that leaves us one quad left. And we have, now you can just basically space them out properly, make them all neat, give us a little bit of room there. Okay, so basically there we go. We can see how they're all done. It sits down pretty nice, and there it is. Very simply, that's the building block we're gonna take most of my class from today. I'm going to uh, raise a little glass of Guinness here. Sorry, but it's only coffee today. But I noticed in Jackie's class that she finished afterwards with a nice big glass of red wine. So Jackie O, I won't be far behind you tonight, trust me. So I, uh, I haven't seen all the classes. I'd like to start there for a second. I haven't seen all the classes, but the ones I have seen uh, have been absolutely spectacular. Um, I, like I said, I've been in the industry for 30 years. I've taught for Qualtech for the last 20 years around the world. And the classes, each one of them, I have learned in every one of them. And I'm amazed because when you teach at a convention, I rarely get to go, as Sue said in her class, it, I, rarely, I rarely get to go and watch other classes. So this has been an absolute treat for, for myself to just spend um, some time to watch uh, this week. and. Keith and Dom have done an amazing job, as we all know. I'd like to thank them very much. It's it's important that we get um, away from real life to invest in our businesses. And this is an, an amazing uh, um, offer from from Qualtex to me. When Susan uh, Dylan re reached out to me and asked me, it was just it was an automatic yes. And and I never I never even thought how big this was going to get, but it, it's massive. And Keith and Dom. I don't know what to say. I just thank you. Everybody here and, and, and around the world is just, uh, you've done an amazing job. Okay, so back to this. This is very easy. I'm going to show you now how we add. Um, two seconds, I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to start with this little guy here. So this is what we're going to make. It's very simple. If I take this back a bit, maybe you get to see a little bit better. There you go. So, same procedure. You've got the yellow. That I've changed the center into a chrome. And we've added on the the 11 inch rounds. I'm going to do this one with, with mauve. Uh, and Dante, uh, wait, wait. Um, cutting the bag. I, uh, I, I got that from your class as well on how to cut the bag. So, we uh, do it properly now. So, like I said, every class has been an amazing class. Sizes are all different, so I'm going to add these on with um, with a little bit of uh, help with Q Corner. I'll, I'll send the dimensions and everything, all the sizes to them, and they can post it up. 
So I'm going to take this, and in the quad, in the center of the quad here, take the neck from here, okay? All I'm doing is lifting one neck, lifting two necks, and tying them together, and very simply adding them in. Okay, so let's begin. Next one. I'd like to uh, also thank Mr. John Bowler for uh, the opportunity to use the Twin Air 2 sizer. It's uh, an amazing, uh, an amazing inflator. It's it's something I've wanted to do for quite some time. I had a chance to use it when I taught in. Oz Jam a couple of years ago, and uh, ever since I've been trying to get it. Canada has a little problem. I know the rest of the world has all got this device and all and all able to use it. Um, some legality about uh, approvals of something uh, have stopped us from getting it. I sure hope it's up here soon. I love it. So uh, really like to say uh, thank you very much to John, a good friend. Um, for getting me uh, a shot at uh, using this amazing piece of equipment. All right, so you can see here, I'm just taking two of the necks in each of the quads, and I'm tying on one single chrome, and sizing it to 3.0 on the twin air. And on the sliding size, it's nine inches, all right? Another piece of equipment that usually sits right on every bench that we work on is the sliding size. Um, Urbina made an amazing product, and I'd like to thank her for, uh, again, making our life a lot easier out here with, uh, with tools like that. All right, so, just about finished. One more, and I can show you the finished product. I know there's so many instructors out there that are ready to go and going to work through the night and do this. Right here, it's uh, 5 after or 10 after 11 p.m. And uh, there's, our, uh, there's our little flower. All right, very simple, very easy, um, very effective. It's uh, a super easy piece. I, uh, with one, one rig line, one magnet, you can secure this anywhere you want. Um, obviously, you've seen in Alex's class, Patch's class, that Ellie and Alex did the vinyl on the, uh, on the balloons. We can use our uh, Cameo outside there and create whatever we want and, and, and uh, have that uh, easily installed. So, there's the two flowers. Same technique, very easily done. Um, I hope you like. It's a very easy idea. The critical thing with doing it, here's the next one you can make. I made this about mm, 10 years ago. I did it with the bubble. I'm not sure which way to go with the camera yet. There we go. So I, I did this about 10 years ago uh, when I uh, when the first bubble came out, the first yellow bubble with the smiley face. I did it on there. Amazing. I wish they hadn't uh, discontinued that bubble. Um, but it's the exact same sun, same uh, sizing. The, the, the most important piece that you have to be critical here is the yellow. The first quad that I put on here. It's, it's, it has to be three and an eighth inches. Each balloon has to be sized to three and an eighth. So on here, it's impossible for the twin air to give me the exact size. So what I've done is I take the, uh, you can see it here. Yeah. So, 
help if I uh, read the uh, the size it started with. Sorry about that. Okay, so if you take it to point three, it's a little big. It's a little big. So what I want to do is. I slowly let air out of that balloon. Now, you can see here the two different sizes. If I hold them above my head here, you see the two different sizes that they are. Now, if I take the slide size, this is very important with the slide size. You can pull that balloon through and you think you've sized it. It'll come right through, okay? But here, it, it's truly the right size. Here, it needs to let some air out slowly and you'll get the two exact same sizes. So it's not just pull it through, okay? If you do, you won't get a true size, and therefore you won't end up with eight quads going through there. The rest of the design can be a little bit off. It doesn't matter then if you have a little bit variance in the sizing, but the first half, that first quads that we put on and installed around the 260, everyone has to be perfect at three and an eight. And then they'll fit perfectly all the way around and your design will show up like so. All right? And if you get it where it's a little bit too big, it'll distort all of the, the, the stars going around. So you won't have a perfect sun like so. All right, I hope you like these uh, three design, two designs that I've showed you, the sun and the flower. They're very, very simple. And uh, we've sold lots and lots of these over the years. I'm going to take a little change in direction and just mention for a moment that at the front door when we came in, the balloon art studio where you're in today, um, is also the home of, the, of Relia Drop. Which, is a man, which, we man, which we manufacture for Qualitex. So we make them here in our shop. We ship them to Qualitex Canada. We ship them to Qualitex USA, and they distribute them around the world to you folks. So on Q Corner, we, uh, we sponsor, and some of the gifts that are, uh, or some of the prizes that will be handed out over Q Corner, and I guess in the coming weeks as well, are um, Relia Drop 200s. Just the same as we gave out, uh, I think, 400 or 800 at uh, the last couple of WBCs for you to try. So enjoy, sell lots, make lots of money with them, but they're made right here in this shop. All right, so uh, again, thank you very much, everybody, for buying them and using them. They're now, uh, this is their, going into their 21st year next year. So uh, again, thank you very much for, uh, for the business. And uh, I'm glad they work for you. Now, I'm going to show you these designs here. The two with the big flower here. I don't know if you can see it. You need to turn the camera a little bit, Jeannie. Just a little bit this way. Here's the turn. Yeah, more, 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 more. Way up. There you go. There you go. Okay, so you can see the flower now. It's from the same fundamentals. You have it with you there? Yeah. Okay, so I prepped this a lot. Just to, uh, just to save some time. I know that uh, uh, everything's uh, trying to get all the classes in so you can get as much education as possible. I've done it with the smiley face. Um, a little different than this guy here with the green. So here we're just going to do with the smiley face here. It's identically the exact same where I put the 260 inside and I've added all of the, uh, the quads uh, uh, onto this 260 already. Now what I want to do is I'm going to show you this, and I'm going to show you, it's easier to reference pieces by pieces as we go. So this quad here, this quad here, we add on a duplet, a quick link duplet to each one of these now. On the flower, when we made the flower here, Okay. When we made the flower, we tied a single balloon onto each one of the, uh, the quads. Okay. Here we're going to tie on a duplet to each one of the quads. So on here, I'm going to tie on one duplet. Okay. 
Now, I call it the top and the bottom. And there's a reason. When we add the next part, the next chain, is where we start to see a little bit of the change of what we're going to make. This is why the fundamental piece that I made with the, the, uh, the 18 inch and the 260 allows so many different designs to be had from that one simple 260 that I installed around the, uh, the 18 inch. Again, going back to Reliadrop, it's in its 20th year, and I thank everybody for using them. But I'd really like to say thank you to Qualitech, because Qualitech believed in us and took that product around the world. So, Qualitech, thank you very much. All right. One last one. Okay, you can see how we've taken each quad now, and we've tied these very easily around Okay, there we go. So, we've taken them and tied them all the way around. Now, you could have that flower there easily, easily done. Here, here's, here's the simple thing. These petals here, the petals on... The petals on the flower aren't flat. There's the top here, and it goes around and in behind to the bottom. So I tie the top to the bottom of this one. So the back, the top to the bottom of the next one. So it loops it around, and if you take it, and I've got it tied so it won't move, you can see how the flower is not flat, okay? Each petal goes toward itself. Okay, Jeannie's gonna hand me these. And I'll just show you. Take the top, tie on the top of this one here to the bottom of the one beside it. I will, I'm going to show. So. Okay, so you're going to get a look like so, and it's very hard to see, but I'm going to come a little closer, you might see it better there. Okay. So if you take it here, I take the top. And it's tied on the top of this one. Okay, there you go. There's the top. And I take it to the bottom of the next one. I hope you can see it on that camera. Okay, so top here, bottom here. Right? I'm going to take the top, tie it to the bottom. And if you do that... Okay, one more time. Once again, tie it to the top, to the bottom of the next. And then go on. A very fun display. Very easy to make. The fundamentals are there. Once you add the, the duplets around, the chains become secondary. And again, I would have done all the inflation here, but we only have uh, just over an hour tonight. So it's uh, time constraints for everybody to get the classes in so you get the maximum education from all of us. And uh, as I said, picking up one little little bit from every class uh, is, is amazing. Uh, uh, again, I'll go back. In, in Dante's class, I... Uh, I was doing a little prep work in here and I got to watch Dante and 
the little where he took the fishing line, or he took the fi he it wasn't fishing line, it was uh, white line, and and he made the loop where he took the and he put the loop like so into the beginning, and I I says, oh, that's exactly what I missed. Well, all the time I made it, I had the hard time joining the two sides together, and when Dante did it, it was very simple because the loop all he did was get tie into the loop and it was able to get the pull back and get the nice tightness there. Simple little things like that. You know, 30 years in the industry and uh, a little tiny loop in the line shows you how, how vital education uh, can help each and every one of us. All right, you go to uh, the uh, Sarah's class. We were home for dinner tonight and uh, we were able to catch Sarah's class. And I, I watched as she began and she started showing the, the art where she was drawing all the all the uh, the banquet halls, and I said I, she was showing us the, the the drafts, and I was like, "There's no chance that I'm ever going to do that. Not a hope in hell would I do that." And the more she did it, it was like, "Why am I not doing this?" It was so easy, so amazing. Um, I, I, I again, education is is the key, and uh, Qualitex. Keith and Dom, you've done an amazing, amazing job of uh, providing this education across the world. And uh, Qualitex, hats off, really, hats off. Just simply amazing. Okay, so here we go again. Now that I've got all of these tied in, uh, I'm going to show you a little of what it looks like. So there's your flower. And again, it's just, it's that easy. You can see how they all, they all, if I back up a bit, you'll see a little bit better. You, you get a, a good look. Am I going the right way or the wrong way? The wrong way. Okay, so that little square that's in there is hard to see. Okay, so here, here's the thing now. Now, in this design, if you just hang that design the way it is, one pedal, one pedal is going to flop. It's going to flop over. So I put in one connect. One quick link to connect the top to the bottom of every connection point. So that it keeps the, the, the flower more sturdy. Now, if Jeannie can turn the camera, I'm going to show you this flower. Here, on the, on the uh, wild berry, the wild berry shows us round petals. Round petals, as shown here in the yellow one. Okay, so here's the white one. Okay, on the white one we get we get pointed ones. They're pointed. Okay, and is it this one here? Yeah. Okay, so here, this is pointed on here. Now, if you look, there was a top and a bottom, so that's two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So I did the top and the bottom. Top and the bottom, and then I added four, so I had six. So identical to the yellow that's sitting here is this, except I didn't tie. The wild berry has the purple inserts in the middle. Here I tied them across, so it's identical here. Go straight on this one, please. Okay, so on the white flower, I tied this way, so it's hard to see. I wish I got a... I wish you were in class and I could show you right up front. It's hard to see, but I tied across here and across here like this. So I'll use this here. Up on here. The bottom. Wait. It's important you get the, the difference between the two because they're identical here. So on this one, I tied the purple five pack in the middle of each flower. Okay? In here. So this is tied. There's one, two, three, four, five here. And I tie it into that six okay on the white one on the white one it's the same six petal but as opposed to trading tying tying the quick links in a five pack i tied them in singles across here and across here this one being uh one side and this one being a lot bigger this one's 1 1.5 this is 1.0 and then i put in duplet here, I pushed it in, in 
security in the middle of this is to fill in the space. Okay, so really it's only two balloons in here, two quick links, and in here I've got two sets of five, so ten quick links. A lot less product in the white flower. Okay, so let's start this one again. If you give me the orange. Okay, so on here, I tied five quick links. This camera is driving me crazy. So here, you can see on there, I'm not sure which way to turn it. There, okay, you've got the five quick links, but I tied this way, so you now have ten quick links. Okay, so I tie them in to the flower. I take two on the quick link, it's so far across the table. If I take here, I tie this, I take the next of two here, and I tie this guy in. I'm tied. I'm going to push it in and tie this. Okay, so now you can see here how what I've done is I've taken the flower. Okay, that box is driving me crazy. I don't know which way to go. Okay, there you go. So now you can see the, the flower where I tie, there's the six quick links, and I tie the five into that middle. Okay, so if I do this again, and I apologize for being going backwards here, but it's it's like David Mahoney's class, where just because of the camera, we're trying to we're trying to get as much education to you over a, a, a camera, and it's very hard because we're doing it away from our norm where we could show you in a class. So bear with us for a second here, and uh, you'll see as we do these because the next piece here is is really critical to this design um, to get it a little bit more sturdy. So once I tie one more knot here you'll be able to get what I'm trying to get at. Okay. Okay, so you see now, as the two petals are now starting to come together, you can see the two orange petals. Again, I don't know which way I'm going here. There you go. Okay, so he's going upside down. I get his head the wrong way. There you go. Okay, so if I go that way, you can see the two petals as they're fitting in. They're coming in on an angle. They don't come in straight, okay, because I went from the front to the back on each one of these. Okay, so if I get the next one. So, very, very basic 260 around the 18-inch foil. And then... Put your quads on. Again, same critical path here. Those quads have to be the right size so they fit around. And then all we're doing is adding on the quick ones. And then the rest is very simple. All we're going to do is cover up the mechanics of the design using fibers. And I, I applaud some of the teachers because they're able to answer the ask, ask the questions and read the read the questions that you're asking as they go. Uh, I'm really not that uh, not that talented. I'll, I'll get to it after the class, and uh, I can jump on and maybe uh, help out in any of the questions as I see afterwards. Um, I hope you like what you're uh, what I'm trying to get across here. Very simple design, uh, but very impactful as you can see from the flower in the background, as it uh, it gives a lot of size. It's on one line. It's installed with one one line. It can be installed with one magnet. Um,
I try and take both tails and tie them at the same time into the next, both tails on the six inch quick links and tie them in to the next um, knot on the, uh, on the yellow quick links. So I take both here. I don't try and take one. I take both and I try and tie it in that way. So I get a little bit more of the, uh, the latex when I'm tying that quick. Okay, we're getting there. Just about, uh, just about done. Three to go. Three to go, and we're uh, ready for the next little bit. Now, when I started with this 260s tied around the uh, foil, I taught the classes across Canada. I think it was 2010, somewhere around there. So I must have done the design maybe 2008 or 9. Can't remember. The uh, my customers loved it, and it really gave a little bit of smile to everybody's life. And I thought it's a great time for us to add smile back into everybody's life right now in such. Uh, such crazy times out there in the real world. So I wanted to add the smile in as much as possible. I was going to add it in all the designs, but uh, product only, uh, I only had so much product on hand. So I wanted to give you some options if you wanted to add in some cameo silhouettes and add your own flair. Um, then I put in the chrome clear, or the chrome uh, planes into the uh, into the flower. But you could add any one of the 18-inch uh, shapes into these designs. Now you can also, you can also do this design if you want to add in the 36-inch or you want to go to a three-foot, you want to add in any of the, uh, oh I've got a dead one here, so let me, uh, let me just fix that for a second. Yeah. Okay, I got the uh, I've got a, a round a uh, quick link, and I want to do it to uh, this quick link in size two. Size to 0.5. Okay, so sorry about that. I have a I have one needing a little repair here, so I need to do a quick uh, quick fix up on this. Okay, so what I did was I tied in I tied in one quick link onto there. Now I'm just going to fix it before I add the second one. Okay, so we're back in business with the last one going to go in now. now if you can open up that next bag. I need a yellow quick link. No, I forget the white now. I need a white, the yellow quick link. The single. last trick we need to do before we do the mechanic cover 
before we cover up all our mechanics with rounds, I need you to, first I'm going to show you what it does when I lift it. Okay, so when we lift this flower now, it becomes a little bit more floppy and, and the petals are a little bit not as nice as I like. When I do this one, they're all together. Okay, so this little key here, this one here, one single quick link, okay, I tie it. Now I'm going to come over here. Okay, so on here, we've got the one pedal right here. There's one pedal, okay? I'm going to tie here. I want to get the right way here. This is the bottom. And then goes to the top. Okay, so here it goes. So from the top, from the top here on this quick link, okay, this pedal here. Okay, I've got this pedal. I'm going to tie the first one that's coming in. This is the first one off the flower. Here's the first quick link. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one here is number one. I'm going to tie into number one. Into here. And I'm going to tie into the last quick link on that. So I'm going to make a, a connection point here. Now I can, I'm going to try and find the camera. Okay, if I open that, there it is. Okay, so here, this here, this one here. I tied this one here, this guy in here. Okay, so it's very hard to see, but it's in here, this one here, right here. Okay, I'm going to tie from the top of this flower to the bottom of the next one. Okay, so there's the connection. And now I'm going to move it around one and do the same thing again. So I'm going to take another single, I tie it into the top and then I tie it into the bottom and this one will give us the stability that the flowers are all in place and they're not bouncing around okay and once again I do it here Keith and Don wanted me to watch the time on this, so if they can maybe help out here with my, uh, they wanted me to come in somewhere between an hour and an hour and 15, and I'm not sure where we're at. Um, I have a couple little things to show you, um, but I'd just like to know where we're kind of at with the uh, time on this. Okay, so if you get the just of this, it's very uh, another guy another uh, another Canadian here I got to catch a little of his class and uh, maybe more, some of you have already seen it but Glenn did a class and he did all the lipsticks and all the, uh, the perfume spray bottle I thought that was pretty cool so Glenn good job I enjoyed that like I said some of these classes are just really, really thinking outside the box. So, okay, so that gives us a little bit different look. Now. 
So the flour is a lot more sturdy. You're getting the look. I'm going to bring it back. Um, okay, you're now in front of me. I've got somebody got it in front of me. 45 minutes. Oh, that's how long you have, I guess. Oh, they or jumped in. That's how long you've gone for? Oh, I see. Okay, cool. <laughs> there we go. I appreciate that, guys. Okay, let me get uh, one thing here just before I jump in. Oh, that's how long you've been going for. What? Okay, I'm going to be, uh, I want to grab the flower, the, the, the sun. And I just want to mention one thing before I forget on the sun. This is the one I did where I started this 10 years ago. Okay, we'll get back to that in a minute. On the sun, here it is. This, this is very, let's just stop for a second. I'm going to go back and I don't want to miss this because here's the sun. And as you can see, one of the sun shapes is missing from here. Okay. So what I did was I took the same size on the orange. Okay. Okay. So we have the uh, I use the uh, the design. So, sorry to jump around, but I, I, uh, I realized I didn't give you the dimensions and how I made the sun. So, here's the yellow that was installed as the, as the initial package. We take the orange now, okay, and what I want to do is I take this orange, and I take the necks from the orange, and I'm going to add it taking the neck from the yellow, okay, so I'm going to tie that orange that quad onto the yellow quad. Okay, so right away you've got a part of it. And then we're going to add in the uh, take the red quad and we'll inflate it. And it's added the exact same way two duplets. Into a quad, I take the necks from the quad and I add them in to here. All right, and then I'm going to change the size and pump it up, and add it in as a single, and I tie it in. So there's no magic. All I'm doing is tying one quad into the next quad. And it basically got the exact same effect here, okay, into this one. So it's very simple. When I tie this one in, I get the exact same look. Okay, so here's the sun. I just wanted to go back and re re uh, revisit the genie. If you want to turn the camera a little bit towards this way. Yeah, this way. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so that way you get to see the sun in, the, uh, in its uh, entirety here. And... Uh, I think that's a, it's a really easy piece to make. Like I said, you can change this design very simply. If you want to change the size of the center and make it bigger, then you just have to work out your, your quads that are going to go around that to make you uh, the right shape so that fills the, uh, the complete foil. All right, so just wanted to mention that before I go any further. Okay, back to this guy. If you want to give me the singles, Jeannie, I can tie the, the white in. Okay, back to the flour we're making. I take the singles. You're going to have to come down here. You can't keep reaching. Okay, so we don't need these guys. I'm going to just take this and tie it in into the, uh, into the center of all the orange.
I know everybody's had a, a tough little while, so I hope it's, uh, I hope Q Corner and the uh, Q Corner Convention has been able to get your mind off of real life for a little bit, focus in on uh, our business. I, uh, I did capture a little bit of uh, the uh, class. Again, I very hard um, with uh, trying to keep up on which which hour and which day and which one was which. Uh, but it was the uh, Chris Adamo and David and uh, and Stuart Davis and. Uh, I uh, I want to I want to mention it because it uh, it drove a lot of messages home there when when Stuart was talking about you know it's really nice to learn and you know he didn't he didn't want to bash anybody and say that you know it's not 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 time to focus on new designs it's time to focus on your business and I and I uh, I can't I can't agree more. Uh, it's nice to learn all these nice techniques and play, but we really have to stop and uh, take the time to uh, reflect on your business, where you can invest in your business, where you want to be in, in your business when it comes back to uh, the new normal. And th those minutes that we all wish we had more of. Oh, I've got an orange one out here for a sec. Sorry, guys. Oh, Okay, uh, 0.5. It's those moments right now that we can reflect and utilize our time, not to sit in our shop or our basement and play with uh, a new design, um, but focus on the business side of it to say, where do you want to be in three months, four months, from now when we come out of this and I, uh, I I'm not sure I think it was Abitel when she said that uh, her class about bacon babies and uh, the baby boom's coming because I thought it was a that was a, 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 a moment in time where you know you can really reflect because baby time and, and uh, birthdays they're coming in the uh, that six months, nine months from now might be uh, really busy for good reason. Okay, so what you're going to do now, we've got the flower finished. Okay, now we have to cover the mechanics of what we've done and uh, and tidy everything up so it looks more like the flower I want to give you. But that's the basic of what we've got here. It's uh, it's really easy, simple, and it really depends on the colors you want to go with. So I'm going to go with yellow quads now. So the the first one is easy to show up here. Can we get that light turned so it gives me more light here? A little bit. No. Okay. Go ahead. I'm going to take this out of the way for a minute. Okay. Up here. Here's number one. This is the number one of the quick link. There's six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so there's the six in the, in the petal. Okay, we've added in here. This rose is the yellow. Okay, in here we've used it as the yellow. We've joined one petal to the other. So this one in here we've joined as I went around the flower and we tied it in. I'm going to put a duplet on top of that. Okay, but then inside here you see a small duplet. Okay, so it's a very baby duplet in here, so I use it as 1.0. In here I use it as a 3.0, or 0.3 here, sorry, 0.3, and here's a 0.1. Okay, so the rest, here's the point, this is the same one. So here, there's the rose inside there, and I did it so you could highlight it so you can see the color difference here, so you knew which one I was talking about. Here, here's the duplet, and the next one, here's a quad, a quad, a quad, and then we're back into that tie. Okay, so we're going to start with same thing here. Okay, so we need to get the petal right. 
Here's the first pedal I'm going to work on right here. Okay, so I'm going to start with a duplet here. So. I'm going to need to dump that for me later. Okay. Both. So there's the little one. I've got one here. Okay, so sorry for the delay, but I wanted to get them right. Okay, so you can see the two different sizes, okay? The little one goes on the bottom. It's inside. It's tucked inside here, okay? Inside there, you see the little one. So I'm going to put this in there, and it just covers the mechanics. It's not doing any framework. It's just covering the mechanics. I take the duplet here, the larger one, and I install it on the top. So basically all you're doing is giving a little bit of support on that there, on the, on the joint between one pedal and the next pedal. The top gets the, the point three and the bottom gets the point one. Okay, so I've added this duplet here, this duplet I've added up here, and the one inside there, okay? The other ones are all quads. So now we're back into the quads. Now, on the quads, what I've done is I've taken, yeah, I've taken this, I'm going to try it the other way. Um, it's, it's hard to see for me across there, I'm going to come to that flower over there. Okay, but before I do, this flower here, let's get this out so you get more light on that. Okay, so on here, it's, the quad here is done two balloons this way, so across, one in front, one in the back, okay? I'll show you when I come to that side there. So if you have the little one and the big one out again, I'll do it again, okay? Okay, so let's get this over here. I don't know where that is on the camera. Not quite sure. Okay, so I'm gonna put the little one in first. Here's the, here's the baby. I'm gonna put it in, in the bottom. Okay, so all I'm doing is covering that up. So it's covered up the mechanics on the lower, and I'm gonna put the one on the top in there. Okay, the rest, I'm gonna add in here, I'm gonna add this quad. I'm gonna put it in the top. And what I wanna do is I wanna have it so it's long. Okay, so one in the front, one in the back, and this one. Okay, so oh, it's hard to see. It's hard. I, I apologize. It's very hard to find here. I've got one and two. Here's one. Here's two. Okay, and they're going across this one and this one here and here. Okay, they're going across the flower. You can't see it. Okay, and then one and two at the back. Okay, so there's your pattern. And then the same thing again on the bottom here. And another one. And there you go. That one's done. We're going to go to the next one. Okay. Quad. Okay. There's the quad. And another quad. Need a little one. See that? I'm not sure if I've got the camera here. Does that help? Sure. Are we there? Is that now on the camera? I'm not sure. I'm trying to see if I can give you that better look. There we go. Maybe there. Okay, so on this here, yeah, there it is. There's the camera. No, you're flipping around. I'm Okay, watch. Okay, so from this camera view here, I've got this, the, 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 here's the large, here's one here, two, three, four, five, six. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this quad right here with one and two, and then one in the front. These two go along the same path as the, the pedal itself, 
and the front one here and then the back one here fill in the back and the front so there there's a better view of the of the, uh, the what I'm trying to achieve here is not not putting all four along the uh, the joint but putting the path where one and two go this way and the one in the front and one in the back all right hopefully that helps it's very hard to see doing it the camera wise it would be much easier to walk up and take a look at what I did all right but just trying to cover up as much of the mechanics as I can and I know it's very hard for you guys to see, so I'm trying to do my best over two different cameras uh, and uh, in Canada where you're somewhere else. So hopefully that looked okay. Uh, Mr. Dom's firing me a message saying, uh, good job. So uh, I like good job. Good job always is always good job. So for an old guy like me that likes his Guinness, I get a good job from another guy that likes Guinness. Thanks, Dom. Good job. Okay. And uh, Jackie O, I won't be far behind with that glass, the red one. I know that. Doing my best here, guys. I hope you uh, hope you picked up some of the tips from uh, an old guy in Canada. But uh, right now, we're just trying to plug along. And uh, I'm not sure what that uh, did over there. Oh, you're hitting it. There we go. Okay, so a little, we've got a couple pedals left. And then we're uh, ready to wrap her up. So not a lot left to give you. Um, and uh, I know it's a very hard, hard thing to follow. Uh, after you had uh, an entertainer like uh, Rupert on the screen for uh, an hour, uh, giving us uh, an education in all kinds of ways. So um, I know Rupert was the first guy to start and did an amazing job uh, telling us a an incredible story of uh, how he got into the industry and his brother and uh, I'm sure we entertain he entertained a lot of us so uh, hopefully I was able to give you a little bit of education I know I'm not uh, I'm not the entertainer that he is but uh, I try to give you uh, a little design here that maybe you can make a little bit of money on so you can all get back in the world of fun and games okay so just about finished. I got one pedal left, and all I'm doing is just repeating, 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 adding the duplets, adding the quads, adding the quads, adding the quads, and then back to duplets. All right. So I'm uh, I'm thankful I have uh, my wife here handing each one um, to us. And it's funny. I've got uh, I've got uh, two of our grandkids sitting at home watching a uh, live YouTube of uh, of me on. Uh, on here so uh, I think that's a first that uh, it's a first for me I know that so really uh, is there another little duplet in there no? okay good okay so I think we're pretty much uh, we've got one more to go here and uh, I think I'm coming in ahead of schedule for these guys so that's uh, that's a good thing I tried to uh, keep to the schedule. Okay, so a little bit of tidy up here, a little bit of tidy up, but there's the there's the basic flower. Jeannie, do you want to flip that over to this screen? Move the camera a little bit. Do you want this one? Turn the camera this way, please. Over here. Turn the camera. There you go. Okay, so if I get a chance here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get a uh, magnet. I'll be right back. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to do the install now. Um, quick and easy here. This flower can go up. I'm going to use the large. I, I've had, um, I don't know, when I walked into the back shop here, as some of you might have noticed, I did the, uh, um, this flower is in the way here. So there you go. Okay, so I'm on the wrong side. That's the difference. Okay, so we're back in the right side. Uh, I have, uh, in the back, I have lots of uh, different poles. Uh, mag poles. I have the I have three or four of the blue ones. I've got two or three of the green ones. Um, I've stopped carrying the blue ones completely. 
uh, too many of my installs are too high. And uh, this is the new green one. I have one of the original ones, which is, I think, an extra foot. I think it was 24 feet, but this one's 23 feet. So the, uh, I use the single uh, as much as I can. Um, I really love the little round ones now that uh, Rabina's come out with. The, uh, I don't know what the weight is. There's the 10 pound, then there's the regular one, and then there's the round little disc one. And uh, I love it, so it's much easier. So what I'm gonna do now is just take, on the, on the, uh, on the 260 itself, I'm gonna take the 260 and tie it. I'm gonna tie onto that 260. So just getting a height here, not quite sure exact height, so we're going to guess here. I'm going to use one of the medium magnets. Okay, I don't know which camera is on. I think they're both on at this present time. Okay, so I'm going to use, and then as a, uh, I install this. I'm going to lift one at a time. It's just a push level, push lever here, and get the uh, mag pole going up. Okay, so I have way too much line. Okay, so I have way too much line. I'm going to just cheat a little bit here and. I loop into there, and you won't see. And then I'm going to lift this guy. And with a very easy little click, we're back in business, and we have our our flower right there. All right, so I'll try and get that back as much as I can show you the pedals and we can flip them around and we can get the other side as well. So how's that for the flower? Alright, we have three flowers here and uh, if you uh, turn that camera just a little bit, there we go. The big camera's getting it all, he's got it all up there. Alright, so I uh, hope everybody enjoyed. You can tidy this up a little bit just by going around and fixing all of these after they've all had the movement and everything in here. But basically you get the idea, very simply, you get the, uh, the flower. Okay? And this is Okay, so I'm going to turn it this way. And there we go. And you can see, we get everything right there. Okay? It's too high, Jeannie. Can we just tip the camera up a bit? Yes. No, back, down, down, down. It's got to go up. No, the other way. The other way, please. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, so that's good. Now I see the whole thing. Um, I'm just going to tie this back there, just so it doesn't spin on us. And I'll use this chair to tie it. Okay, so I'd just uh, like to say thank you very much for spending an hour and a little bit with me. Um, it's, uh, it's been a great day. I know I'm uh, only drinking coffee, but uh, I'd like to say a little thank you very much to Q Corner. I'd like to say thank you very much to Qualitex Worldwide for putting this convention on. I'm not sure, uh, I, like I said, I'm going to uh, jump into the chat and answer some of your questions if there are any. Uh, hopefully you picked up a couple of gold nuggets, as Keith says, and uh, let's, uh, let's stay safe, everybody, and uh, on the other side, let's have one hell of a big party. Cheers. 
Cheers, Colin. Thank you very much for Turn all of that. We Thank really appreciate it. Are you okay there, guys? I can't hear a thing. It's all right. Don't worry. Just, Sorry. just know that we're saying nice things about you. You can hear it in the I, playback. I, Thank I you, Colin. Jeannie, can you turn that volume up? Thank you, Jeannie. We do. We get an echo. You need to turn him off. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, can you go crazy and give lots of thanks? And I can see a few cheers as well Already in the yes. chat for Mr. Colin Stewart and also for Jeannie as well. Cheers. He keeps them pointed in the right direction. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. It is very much appreciated. There were some fantastic comments about uh, Colin's place, and and I think a big thing that strikes that struck home, and I, and I know it did with a few of you guys, is the fact that it is very much a, a family business, right? I mean, even um, to the point where they've got an area for the grandkid to come and hang i know when um dom and i uh, uh, quite a few years ago when we uh, had the retail store we were working in it a lot um my daughter used to come and um actually when we did a lot more of the the fancy dress costumes and the hire we got a great photograph of her when she was just a tiny baby asleep in wrapped in kind of all the um some of the the fancy dress behind there i think and we've got a few very pictures much, uh, of the children inside sizing boxes as well yeah yes absolutely <laughs> and, and lots of other things too so yes. it is it's, it's really important to um to remember that it is a family business